Hello, my name is Sean Fitzgibbon. Uh, my work explores unusual real places and events. Recently completed writing and illustrating a very haunting 240 page hand painted, exhaustively researched documentary style graphic nonfiction that depicts the mythologies surrounding the Crescent Hotel's years as the Baker Hospital a Depression-era cancer hospital in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Drawing from my educational background, this story is told using classic illustration techniques blended with fine art compositions that produce atmospheric imagery, transporting the readers into the hotel's dark, bizarre, and varied past. I'd like to thank the Arkansas Arts Council for this wonderful award it's such an honor. The Arkansas Fellowship Award will allow me the opportunity to continue printing and distributing the book so that readers can connect over a shared understanding of the effects of demagoguery in this unique period of Arkansas history. Hi, I'm Robert Bean and I am a Little Rock based artist. I'm a visual storyteller. <laughs> I like to create narratives with images. Uh, I like to mix words and text with images. I like to make things like comic books and, and uh, graphic narratives in that way. The stories tend to be uh, connected. I like to work in series. So if I have an exhibition of 20 pieces, uh, those 20 pieces will often have some way that they relate together in a narrative sense, um, not just in terms of like color or format or that sort of thing. It's fun to work that way, but it's also uh, a real challenge sometimes, uh, which I end up liking. What I, what I try to do with the work is I'm, I'm very drawn to who we are as people, who we are as individuals and the things that we cope with. And so I like to try to express the ideas uh, of on a kind of more small personal level. Uh, in other words, how one person's dealing with tragedy rather than trying to create a narrative that is about tragedy overall. I want that, that one person's kind of take on it. The award that, that comes with it too, one of the great things about it is often with, especially with the kind of uh, these stories that I like to tell, they end up being something that maybe isn't always, it's not always commercially viable or it's a passion project. It's something that's gonna be complex and take a long time. And so, Getting an award like this gives me the time to, um, it gives me the opportunity and the time to explore what I need to explore with it. Being uh, selected as uh, an individual um, artist fellowship uh, winner, I'm unbelievably honored to, to be that because there's so many artists that apply for this. It's, it's not an easy thing to get. There's a lot of talent out there. So to be honored with, with um, being chosen is, it's a big deal. And uh, I'm very thankful and, and uh, happy and, and proud and everything all at once that this has kind of uh, um, come my way. Hi, my name is Kasten McClellan Searles. I'm a painter, illustrator, graphic designer, and a professor of art and design. <music> My work draws inspiration from the magic in everyday settings. Um, I make observational work that highlights fragments of the world we live in and people we encounter every day. When I'm starting a project, I really like to begin by getting to know my subject well. For me, um, that could mean sketching on site or taking tons of photographs of a scene. Um, and I like to work with natural media. So starting off with things like ink and watercolor, and then ultimately moving into digital formats like Photoshop and Procreate. I'm so thankful and excited to receive this fellowship award. Um, I will be creating a work of nonfiction short stories in the form of a graphic novel. It's a huge undertaking to create a full book and this award will help ensure that I can make that project a reality. So thank you.